Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What is data viewer in SSIS? Is data viewer available in control flow or data flow? Uh, let's uh, first understand what is data viewer. So data viewer is a way when uh, we can see the data while we are debugging our SSIS package or troubleshooting. So th this is uh, used all the time when we are developing our SSIS packages and we want to see the data that is moving between two transformations. So when we say the data between two transformations it means uh, it is only available in the data flow task as the transformations are only available in the data flow. And control flow is uh, the pan uh, or uh, that's where we control the flow of those uh, tasks. Let's go to SSDT and uh, take a look. If uh, I will bring a data flow task here in one of the package and then uh, I will bring execute SQL task. So what is happening? Each task is performing its own ta uh, uh, task or uh, di different requirements uh, or, or functionality. So first one is data flow task that is used to extract the data and we can implement different transformations and load the data. So we cannot really see the data moving between these two tasks. So each one has its own functionality. Once we, this will be, will be completed, then this will run. So here what we have here we have a presence constraints. So we have success, failure and uh, completion and uh, that's we can set uh, okay I want to run this uh, execute SQL task on success uh, full execution of data flow task. So there is no way we can see the data flowing from here. So data flow task is the task where the data flows. Now let's go to the data flow bring the one of the source in my case what I'm doing I'm reading the data from a SQL server table so I'm using only DB source let's read the data from the customer table it has first name last name address phone number etc the next part what we need we need another transformation that can be a destination as well and then we can implement data viewer let's bring the multicast multicast create multiple outputs from the input there will be exact replica of input so let's connect your lady source to multicast now we have two transformation or you can say one is a source and another is a transformation and then after that we can put other transformations or maybe destination but here this this green um, this blue line what you see if you double click on this one it will open this window it will say data flow path editor and here you will see the data viewer once you click on the data viewer you will be able to enable it by clicking here and you can select the columns for which you want to see the data it will be a table on the when you will execute your package a table will display the data we can um, if we don't need ID we can remove the ID if we don't need a join key we can remove it and uh, th these arrows can be used uh, to remove or add uh, these columns if you are using an uh, old version of SSIS such as 2005 and 2008 uh, you will not see the same interface uh, there are more when you click on data view you will see histogram you will see graph and all those kind of thing but as uh, there was not whole lot use of that so in the new version such as uh, SSIS 2012 and 14 they have removed those those histograms and the graphs and the, all those uh, other um, tabs uh, whatever was available and left us with the, this uh, only data viewer uh, in the tabular form so click OK now you will see this uh, sign here when the data viewer is will be implemented let's run the SSIS package and we will see the data will be displayed in a uh, <coughs> uh, graphical form so what is happening uh, let me delete couple of them uh, I had been using uh, this test connection uh, over and over and I'm not sure if they are connected uh, to the server or not let, let's select the table again now if we want to preview the data one time yes it is bringing that so now it should work fine uh, during oh, okay so it is an error at execute SQL task no connection manager is specified so while we were doing this demo I put uh, this um, execute SQL task I didn't provide any connection manager that's why it is giving us error right now we don't need to use this one so I'm deleting this one let's go back to the package and run it 
and now we see that we see a, a table with all those columns uh, th those we have selected uh, from source to the multicast this is very useful when you are converting your uh, data from uh, different data types to required uh, data types so you are um, um, uh, concatenating the columns you are implementing uh, um, conditional uh, case statements and all those kind of thing and uh, by using the data viewer you can kind of check your code and debug code in the development and you can also troubleshoot your package sometime from production you get there it's hard and uh, that you can run uh, the package in the bids and uh, put the data viewer at multiple points uh, and see that in incoming data and outcome uh, outgoing data and tell us what is exa uh, what exactly happened and why that is happening uh, one last thing I would like to tell you guys if you are implementing data viewer once you are done with the debugging remove the data viewer and uh, uh, if you would not remove it uh, and uh, you will create a SQL Server agent job it will try to pop up and uh, it will create the problem the last point I would uh, go back one more time and tell you if you have a lot of records uh, let's say you have hundreds of records it's not gonna show all of the records in one it might show uh, first hundred rows here then you have to click on this play button to see the data for the next uh, uh, rows so that you have to keep clicking it and uh, with the detach once you say detach then uh, the records will go to the next uh, and uh, that's how it works. You can copy the data by clicking on copy data and paste to the Excel or any other destination. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.